A warning resurfacing online about the risk of the red zone as colleges welcome back students for a new year. But what is it and is it real? Liza Lucas verifies. The return to campus means the return of the red zone, the high risk period when sexual assaults on college campuses seem to spike. Social media echoes warnings, but is the red zone real? Georgia State professor Andrea Curcio explains. Red zone indicates high risk time. There are two government studies, one by the Department of Justice in 2007, one by the Bureau of Justice in 2014, 2015. Both of those studies confirm from August through November is the high risk time and particularly for college freshmen. The 2007 study found more than 50% of college sexual assaults happen the first semester, with most assaults occurring between midnight and 6 a.m. The latter study surveyed more than 23,000 students, finding incoming first year female students were at the highest risk in the first few months of the academic year. Most on campus assaults happen in college dorms and residence halls. Students are most likely to be assaulted by somebody they know but know casually. And there are other risk factors. Never been away from home and there's all this freedom. Some students haven't really developed a cohesive group of friends to watch out for each other. So the data verifies the red zone is real. Though the length of the risk period varies depending on who you ask. Some experts point to the first six weeks on campus while others say it's even longer. Being aware of the danger time, the danger areas, what we can do as a community really makes a difference. Do you have something for us to verify? Send us your ideas via Facebook, Twitter, or email at verify at